When it comes to controlling the extent of extrusions, we will typically use distance. But there are certain cases where this might not be desirable. For example, in this case, we have a plastic container with a flat face and a curved wall. We need to position a boss in a way that will straddle across the flat and curved surfaces. We can control this extrude to extend until the flat face by clicking on that face and changing the operation to join. However, we will be faced with the problem of the boss protruding out of the housing. For extent, there is a two object option. Let's try this and select the flat face. The problem still exists. Let's try to control select the curved face. It appears that we cannot select multiple faces. This is where the chain faces option comes in. Click on the chain faces option. The extrude would recognize the two faces and end accordingly. It does not matter whether you select the flat face or the curved face. The icon is pretty self explanatory in what it does. Besides selecting faces, you also have the option of selecting bodies. Remove the existing selection and select the body from the browser. This achieves the same effect. Lastly, selecting the All option would also work in this case. Can we apply the same method for the starting phase of an extrude? Can we extrude upwards from this uneven phase up to a plane? Let's try that. For the Start option, select From Object. Select the flat face. In this case, the Chain Faces option does not appear. We are also unable to select the body. So there is a limitation in the starting options for extrude. So this poses the challenge. What if we need to do an extrude between two uneven faces as shown here? The way to do this would be to start a sketch in the middle. For direction, select two sides. For both sides, you will be able to perform the extrude to object with the chain faces option triggered successfully as both of these are recognized as end conditions.